All right, guys. Michael Kincaid out here at Lake Chickamauga. We are going to test out some. The home point has been updated. Phantom. Take off. We're going to fly it, try out the uh, follow me mode. This thing up. First, we're going to take a quick look around. You've got to take a quick look around. Check this out. Check out this sunset. What? <clears throat> All right, get this radio shut off. All right, I actually tried to do, a, actually one of my earlier videos, I did some testing earlier and she did freaking phenomenal. So I get out here on the boat. Next thing you know, it had to have a controller update. So that kind of stunk. But it actually, weird, it did it from the uh, DJI Go app so it actually worked out and I'm actually flying so to follow me there is a minimum altitude and I'm not sure what that is but I think it's around 30 feet 32 feet all right so here we are we're gonna go ahead and put the boat into motion and see if she will follow oh, 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 oh. all right all right all right I don't know what I'm doing yet. Okay, there we go. All right, you got to hit apply. All right, let's get it up a little bit higher. All right, hit apply. All right, so she should be in follow me mode. That's pretty cool. Probably not the safest thing to be. Let's see what happens when I go ahead and increase throttle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around. See, it's kind of out of frame. It'll follow. Looks like she is trying to follow. It's actually catching up to me, so let's go ahead and book it on down a little bit further. she does and she's coming right to me I can see it is coming it is like a dog on a leash all right sorry if I'm sounding giddy this is just pretty cool stuff all right where are you going all right I had to back up a little bit oh all right 
Yeah, she's making me nervous. Yeah, just flew over me and then went back. All right, I'm gonna exit this mode. Confirm, it should just hover, as you can see on the screen. All right, now I've got control back again. Let's see, where is the camera? Point it down. <clears throat> All right, guys. Again, Michael Kincaid, thanks for stopping by and checking out my YouTube channel, checking out the Intelligent Navigation Modes. Just did a little demo of the uh, follow me mode. So now we're gonna do the point of interest. So if you hit the point of interest, what you have to do is, all right, so the boat's gonna be the point of interest. So I'm gonna fly it right directly above us. So what you wanna do is go ahead and pan this camera down directly beneath us. Put it up there a little. Okay, so we want to get this thing out, just centered it a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a play. Okay, then, then what you wanna do is you wanna fly it out. Fly it out. And the camera back. Okay, and say I want to do a, let's just go wide open with it. Let's just do a speed of 17 miles an hour. So we've locked it in right above the boat. Then you fly it out to the distance you want to orbit it. And then you just hit start and it should start orbiting around. Hit apply. And there it goes. And man, it is trucking. Oh my goodness, 17 miles a little nervous. Got me a little nervous. But it is, look at that, it is making a nice sweeping circle. Looks like it's keeping the boat pretty well centered. And it'll pretty much, I guess it'll just do it till you tell it to stop. So exit this mode, confirm. So it just stopped, as you can somewhat see. All right. The waypoints, I'm not sure how that works, but let's just go ahead and tap it on there. And this is a learning experience. Start recording waypoints. So I don't know if I want to fool with that just now. All right, done, forget about it. Okay, delete. All right, let's order maybe waypoint one. And you guys are... So two waypoints. Put one out here. I mean, again, I'm just going within line of sight. It's as you can see on the screen here. It's just not that far out. Record. And then I'm gonna put, I guess, the last waypoint right back to where we started. So it's right above me again. All right. And record. Okay, done. I'm done. So start. Flight velocity 7.8. So I hit start. Hit apply. So it's just taking off by itself, which is always unnerving. There's one. It's turning around. Looks like it's flying to its first waypoint destination. Very cool. Oh wow, this is pretty tight. Went to its next destination.
and it's coming back to the last point directly over the boat. All right, exit this mode. I'm done with that. Confirm. Okay, home lock. Not sure if I want it full with home lock. Course lock. Adjust the heading. Okay, so so if I want to, I guess let's set set the controller like that. Aim it down a little bit. Apply course lock. I have no idea really what this does. So I'm assuming that. Figure it out. All right, I'm gonna we'll do that over the last plan. Okay. All right, so the point of interest is pretty cool. The follow me was pretty cool. So where you are, I'm just rambling on now. All right, let's just shoot her up, take her up, take a look around. Chester Frost, Chickamauga Lake. Sunset cruise, 42% battery remaining. All right, why not do the follow me mode? Apply. Helm back to the uh, Back to the marina, that's what I want to do. Anyway, hope you guys had a fantastic Memorial Day. We've uh, actually had this boat rented out all day, so I think... Low battery warning. Anyway, I'm going to shut this thing down. We get low battery. All right, exit this boat. Phantom's up there.